Greetings, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests. I'm Katie McGinty, Chief Sustainability and External Affairs Officer here at Johnson Controls. I speak today on behalf of my 100,000 colleagues across the globe in saying that it is a privilege to join these proceedings. The vision and goal of Future Next is nothing short of breathtaking, and we are humbled to be a part. It's no overstatement to say that the Emirates of the UAE have been creating beauty even where Mother Nature can be challenging. With your vision and leadership, the world is grateful that the UAE will host the 28th Conference of the Parties in 2023 and drive climate action forward. Johnson Controls is honored to be a partner with you in this mission. To tell you a bit about Johnson Controls, we are 136 years old, founded by Dr. Warren Johnson, an educator concerned that students couldn't learn in the very cold classrooms in Wisconsin. He was determined to do something about it, so he invented the very first electric thermostat. We've stayed true to Dr. Johnson's conviction that buildings should lift people up since that day and today, we're a company 100% dedicated to making buildings smarter, healthier, and more sustainable. Now, we do that with an industry-leading combination of operating equipment, HVAC and fire and security, plus our award-winning digital platform, Open Blue. These days, we're especially excited about the conversation concerning buildings. Why? Because it's all about sustainability, and at Johnson Controls, sustainability is our business, our products, world-class in efficiency. But more, we've been working behind the scenes for a long, long time, trying to catalyze sustainability action. For example, not since 2020, but literally for 20 years, we've reported our sustainability stats. Way back in 2004, we were among the first industrials to sign the UN Global Compact, and we've achieved results, cutting greenhouse gas intensity by 70% and our energy intensity by more than 50% since 2002. Importantly, we've done all of this in lockstep with our customers. To date, we've chopped more than 31 million metric tons of carbon from their emissions, all while saving them $7 billion in energy and operating costs through energy performance contracts that many in attendance here know very well. Now, you might say that is a lot of stats, but I am a trust but verify kind of person, so show me the proof. That's what this slide is all about. We're honored to be included in some 40 plus sustainability indices, to be rated AAA by MSCI, and to be counted among Corporate Night's top 100 most sustainable companies in the world, number one in our industry group. Moreover, we are truly humbled to be recognized by Ethosphere for the 15th time as among the most ethical companies in the world. So all of that is good, but is good enough? You in the UAE have set your sights higher, calling for net zero emissions. And with the innovations featured here at Future Next, you are driving progress farther and faster still. We agree. So last year, we set the bar higher for ourselves, announcing science-based targets for our operations that are aligned to the 1.5 degree C of the Paris Accord, and will also reach operational emissions of net zero by 2040. For scope three, we'll cut our customers' emissions by some 16%, while doubling their avoided emissions through the power of open blue. Now, internally, we back this up in very important ways. For example, at least 75% of our new product R&D is dedicated to advancing sustainability and executive compensation 
is tied to our success. Now, why is sustainability such a key focus for us? This slide tells the tale and it's two reasons. One, the planet requires it. And second, we at Johnson Controls are uniquely positioned to deliver the needed solutions. This top line here, totally unsustainable. Almost 40% of global greenhouse gas emissions come from buildings. And we know that the fastest growing slice of electricity consumption is HVAC. It's clear there is no decarbonizing the climate without decarbonizing buildings. And here, a double shot of innovation is required. Bringing forward the cleanest, most efficient equipment and digitalizing buildings. On equipment, we're meeting efficiency standards years ahead of schedule, and our chillers today use refrigerants whose global warming potential is up to 99% lower than conventional alternatives. But deep decarbonization requires more. Even the most efficient pieces of equipment can't alone get you close to net zero. For that, you need to break through the siloed pieces of equipment and connect whole systems. You need a digital platform like OpenBlue. Now, HVAC can talk to security and to lighting and to plug loads. Now, remote monitoring and predictive diagnostics are possible. And when you have remote monitoring and when you have predictive diagnostics, you back out not only the inefficiency of poorly operating equipment, but you avoid the emissions of trucks rolling to fix that broken equipment. All of this capability, Open Blue boosts the equipment efficiency by 50% and more. But even further, Open Blue is not only helping to tackle climate change, but literally to reinvent, to transform buildings from bricks and mortar that are a burden on the grid and on the balance sheet to flexible dynamic assets that drive business success. So we know the best in operating technology and in information technology, digital, is key to cutting carbon. But here's something else. We've learned from our customers who are really committed to decarbonization. They're telling us great technology isn't enough. There's a need for innovation in relationships, moving from just sales to shared vision, shared risk, and genuine partnership. This slide shows that decarbonization isn't just a single procurement decision. It's a journey. We find our customers at all different stages in this journey, some not knowing what their carbon footprint really is or what goal makes sense for them. Others might not have the upfront capital for engineering, design, upgrades, behind the meter renewable assets. For others, the need is for a single pane of glass, all of that data, a single point of truth to track, verify, and report that data. Now, or organizations are looking for a partner in this kind of journey. On the left, a picture of a conventional sales model. And it's apparent all the risks sit in one place with the customer, with the building or tenant or owner. For a small, simple job, that might be okay. But getting to deep decarbonization demands and deserves more a sharing of that risk. So we at Johnson Controls have stepped up. We've unveiled cooling as a service. 
and now net zero decarbonization as a service. We're going well beyond the guaranteed energy savings of performance contracts to providing capital, cutting carbon, conserving water, and achieving the full spectrum of our partners' smart and healthy building goals. Here's a quick picture of some of the results to date. University campuses that now are net zero. Hospitals slashing utility bills while accelerating patient wellness. This is that broader scope of KPIs we can help partners meet when we're engaging as partners and as a service. Those hospitals, some of our KPIs literally commit us to reduce code blue incidents in those hospitals. Other partners in government counting on us to help educate on sustainability while enhancing readiness with energy optimization. You know, we're proud of these partnerships and solutions, but it most certainly is the case that we are learning and growing more every day, especially in the work we are blessed to do with you in the UAE. Your net zero and clean energy commitments are genuinely world leading and top tier. And it's quite clear you're taking action across every single sector of the economy. Even more and so importantly, you're ensuring that your journey is one that is true to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, investing in people and leaving no community behind. It's about the environment, but it's about society, humanity, and the growth and development of our world and economy. That's what you're showing. Your vision has challenged Johnson Controls and, and made us better. Let me share an example data centers. A few years back, we proposed data center solutions that were state of the art. They cut energy consumptions by 33% and more. But partners in the UAE said to us, not good enough. You said we need to stretch and conserve not only energy, but water as well. So we got to work and so we did. Together, we came up with whole new approaches, hybrid solutions that cool data centers and optimize for water and carbon and cost, as well as energy. And our district cooling chiller uh, and blue stream thermosiphon technologies, we brought them together and they help cut water consumption by 50% and more. Building on these early partnerships, we're now honored to join here in the UAE with visionary leaders who are pioneering the path to a brilliant future, a future where the built environment celebrates the natural world and inspires people, a future where much less burden is placed on nature, even as people living and working and studying in these buildings breathe healthier air, are much more productive, are connected, and are engaged. The BIHA building, for example, genuinely is the office of the future, where colleagues and visitors are whisked seamlessly and frictionlessly into the building and to waiting elevators through to offices and conference spaces tuned exactly to their personal comfort and set up to ensure their productivity. Johnson Controls together with Microsoft is pleased to bring this best in the world digital capability to power the mission of the BIHA Group, an organization that itself is dedicated to achieving sustainability for all, even as we achieve not only energy cuts, but this beautiful building is net zero energy 
and LEAD Platinum certified. We're further inspired to be partnered with the Dubai Energy and Water Authority to help bring to life the world's tallest, smartest government building, Al Shira, a building that will welcome 5,000 colleagues with Johnson Controls Open Blue and again Microsoft with Azure. Al Shira is on the cutting edge digitally while achieving net zero energy and critically cutting water consumption in half. Finally, all of this work really is about our opportunity and deep obligation to ensure a beautiful future for the next generation, to deliver for them, our children, a thriving, healthy and vibrant planet. So it is with deep humility and joy that we partner with Aldar to bring forward schools that model sustainability, that provide great learning spaces, even as they use much less energy, even better with the support of the great organization Alliances for Global Sustainability, will ensure children learn about sustainability, that they come along with us in this journey, that children learn about the technologies being deployed and that they come to know that with vision, commitment and creativity, we can protect the environment even as we build growing economies and thriving places. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Johnson Controls, thank you for your partnership and thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.